Greetings, everyone. Happy Halloween. My name is Tomas Salas, and in this episode, I have something for you to scream about. We recently had the once in a lifetime opportunity to party at the original 1996 Scream House. Stay tuned throughout this video because there are key moments and never before seen footage and photos that you do not want to miss. One of the most iconic houses in horror, West Craven Scream in 1996, Stu's house. We got to go party there, meet the original Ghostface actors, film in the original spots, and yeah, that's right, I dressed up as Ghostface, and this is a recap of everything that went down. Let's cut into it. Driving up to the house transported me immediately into the movie and Woodsboro, California. The leaves were turning, the fall atmosphere, and it was an overcast day with the fog starting to roll in from the bay. This house is located at the Spring Hill Estate in Tamales, California. Immediately as I drove up to the house, my breath was taken away. It was so gorgeous. As we walked up to the event, we were greeted with an introduction from the actor who played the original Ghostface, Lee Waddell. And standing right beside him in costume was Stu's stunt double, Alan Key. Robinson, who also happened to play Ghostface in Scream 2. Do not click away from this video because there is never before seen footage that Alan has that he was generous enough to let us do an interview with and see these original Polaroids that have never been showcased before. That is something you don't want to miss and we're going to get to it in just a few moments. Because this was a Halloween party, they had music blasting, but it was from the original soundtrack. As I was walking up the wooden steps, I couldn't help but feel I was literally in the movie because it felt just like the party scene. As I stepped in through the threshold, my breath was taken away. The house is just gorgeous. It is a farm style house, but with amazing architecture and the staircases wrap around. So those chasing scenes, yeah, that could actually happen. We worked our way around and they were generous enough to have posters set up so we could get stuff signed, where we got an opportunity to have a couple of memorabilia items signed by the two actors. It was here we got to meet face to face with Lee Waddell and Alan Robinson, who are so down to earth. Also, I didn't know this, Lee Waddell is a military service member and he actually knows what he's doing with a knife. He was generous enough to even sign this buck 120. This right here is horror history in my hands. This is signed by Lee Waddell, the first ghost face, and also Alan Robinson, who is the second ghost face. Both ghost face signed this blade. I'm freaking out. These gentlemen were so fantastic to talk to, and they really gave back to the fans, which is something that I also wanted to do. So we are currently doing a giveaway for this blade. If you head over to the Instagram, at Tactical Tavern, Enter the giveaway, do not miss this. Put in a shot, put in your lottery ticket because I have a feeling this is gonna go to a great home and I'm honored to be able to do this. Also again, a big thank you to Lee Waddell and Alan Robinson for even doing this and making that possible in the first place. From there, we entered into the kitchen, the famous kitchen where the ending scene takes place with Billy and Stu going down. Spoiler, if you haven't seen the movie, it's been out since 1996, what are you doing? It was so surreal. And one of the best parts was that that teapot that was in the movie was there and it was part of the actual movie. So was the phone and we got to hold those items. It's also here where I wanna thank the homeowners of the Spring Hill Estate because they actually live there and they are so gracious and generous to let fans go through the house and have that moment. So a huge thank you to the owners of the Spring Hill Estate once again, thank you. From there, I ran back to the car and I threw on my ghost face scream robe because you know what? When else are you gonna be able to do this? And it was a blast. We got to recreate some of the scenes from the movie, like the famous garage scene with Annie's horror. So thank you for helping make that possible. We also got a couple other ones from Grimm's Life Shop. So make sure you guys check out her channel. So many fun activities were going on at this house. Chasing fans down the hallways, incredible. While we got the opportunity to recreate some of the famous scenes in the house, one of my favorite ones was they had a green umbrella there in the closet to pop out with as a prop for photos and videos. And this wouldn't have been possible without Dame Patrell at the Spring Hill Estate for helping hosting this party. So thank you again for helping bring all of our fan dreams to life. It was also here we got a photo with the Ghostface actors. And what was crazy was I realized that Lee Waddell and I were matching. We had the same limited edition, very exclusive shirts. And we were mad. What are the odds of that happening? Insane. Lastly, to cap off the night, we watched the original 1996 Scream movie outside in front of the house where it was filmed, where all the twists and turns went down. I couldn't have asked for a better evening. But then we had one more opportunity. I was fortunate enough to interview Alan Robinson who had Polaroid photos, never before seen pictures from the filming of this movie. And I'm gonna play that interview for you guys right now. So I hope you enjoy. All right, my friend. Who are you and where are we? 
Who am I? I am Alan Robinson. And um, here we are at Spring Hill Estates where uh, we shot Scream 1 back in 1996. This is the actual house location. Uh, that was Stu's house. And it's really cool to be back here tonight. Yeah. Awesome. And what was your role in the movie? Um, I was a caterer. I supplied the food. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, I was, a, I was a Matthew Lillard who played Stu, stunt double. So, uh, at the end of the movie where he gets, um, he gets, after he gets stabbed with Billy and they do that, um, he comes out in the hallway and, it, and I take over from there and, and tackle a uh, Nev stunt double and we do a flip over and then, then uh, I tackle her over a sofa that's been chopped up with um, a knife that gave a bunch of feathers and then um, eventually I'm on the ground and Nev pushes the TV over my head, and I get the TV over the head, and then I get electrocuted. Yeah, that's me. somebody's got to do it. And what do you have with us today? Well, you know, I brought something really special here. I got the actual photos and, and stuff from that I found that I have from the movie, and I'll set these down here. But like, for for example, right here, this is me and, and Nev stunt double Kathy Marshall, and we're standing out front of the house here, and um, you know, that's the bloody shirt, and that's. Um, that's, you know, just, just, just a couple feet away from us right now. Um, this is a really cool shot. This is, this is Matthew Lillard and myself, um, standing out in front of the house. And, um, it, it just kind of, kind of, kind of cool. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Yep. Yep. And and then these are no particular order here. This is um, Scream Two. Scream Two. I I I, I played Ghostface, but I'm also doubling uh, Timothy Oliphant, who played Mickey. So the crazy Mickey. That's me with with him. And I get killed at the end. Get shot and go flying backwards, as one does with a small caliber handgun. You go flying backwards. Just saying, just saying, but it's, it's movies. You got to make it, you know, you know, <laughs> but as tactical guys know that yeah, small caliber handgun, really? You're going to go, you're flying 15 feet backwards. Wow. I want one of those hand cannons. Here's another cool shot of, of just outside this door. And that, that's uh, me and Kathy, just like that one there. Um, another additional one out there. And this next one is really neat because this is a Polaroid. This Polaroid, if you remember Polaroids, they come right out of the camera. So this came right out of the camera, this actual piece of paper from back in 96, from right in front of that door. So it makes it kind of special that it's not like a developed piece of film. And then, and then one last one is um, Dublin Mickey, Timothy Oliphant in Scream 2. When we were filming it, it was called scream the sequel so that was written down we shot that in 7 of 1997 and that's right after i do this jerk gag where when i get shot i am actually got a uh, i'll ha I have a cable attached to the back of me so when they shoot me they pull that cable and i go flying backwards and i you know landed in the boulders and, and that's how that's the demise of mickey so those are some of the cool little photos i um Glad to have brought here to share with you, Tomas. So it's an honor to be able to share Amazing. them with you. Amazing. Yeah. The, yeah. the honor is all mine. Uh, all mine. Uh. Thank you guys for watching. This is a legend right here. A piece of movie history and movie memorabilia you can't find anywhere else. Thank you again so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad, to be, glad to be able to share it. And share bonus you. for the Tactical Tavern audience, he's also a knife guy. So a little bit. Knife, firearms, firearms. Anything, all things tactical. I love it. I love it. I love it too. Yeah. Now I'm not wearing this just as a fashion sense, but I am kind of. Um, this has a little bit more symbolism as well in Scream Two. Can you tell us about that? Well, in Scream Two, uh, I I play ghost faced in a lot of the scenes, um, in particular the opening scene. The opening scene of Scream Two, um, the first kill is Omar. He's in the, he's in the bathroom, and I stab him through the stall, and it goes right in his ear pull that out and, and then go into the theater, sit next to, to Jada Paquette's character. I sit next to her and I end up uh, stabbing her and she gets up wounded and I stab her a few more times. 
and um, and then she goes up and does a theatrical death, and 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 then um, then I, I I played Ghostface in a sorority house, and I go running after um, and have Campbell in there and fall over a sofa, and I stab a door, and she gets away, and um, and then there's a sound stage. There's a sound stage scene where I'm chasing Gail Weathers. And it's a little cat and mouse, and she's hiding. I'm trying to catch her, and then um, then Dewey comes in. I am stabbing him in the back, and um, um, so there's a few scenes. So I was real, you know, real fortunate to play, you know, Ghostface for a lot of the scenes, most of most of them, and and, and Scream too. So uh, what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> incredible, incredible. Thank you again so much for your time and your dedication to the Scream franchise. Oh, you bet, man. Seriously, this yeah, is so yeah. cool. Great, great, great talking with you. Likewise. Yeah. You guys stay tuned for more Scream content coming your way. How cool is that? And a fun fact for the Tactical Tavern audience, both Lee Waddell and Alan Robinson are outdoor adventure enthusiasts and knife collectors. What? Also, I just want to point out, Alan Robinson is also on the search and rescue team who, because he was a stunt double and a stunt guy learning to rig and do ropes, he offered to give back with his services and as part of a search and rescue team. That to me just speaks to the character of these gentlemen who are really fantastic, who took the time to talk with the fans and are so down to earth. I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity and I'm so honored to be able to share it with you guys. And we got one final treat because as we were driving down, it was foggy. The lights were on and it was just like the scene where they're racing down and there were people in the road, which was hilarious to me because we had to stop, pull over, ask them if they were okay and they needed light because you know we're prepared. I just thought it was funny that it was literally like the car racing down the hill in the movie. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you again to the Spring Hill Estate for even allowing us onto the property for such a spectacular event. Make sure to subscribe to the Tactical Tavern and enter this dang giveaway. I hope one of you guys wins it that loves the franchise just as much as I do. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more horror content. Also comment down below your favorite Scream movie quote or your favorite scary movie. Until I see you guys in the next video, I'll be right back.